Hello guys, so today I just want to show you a little project that I've been working on. That is, I'm currently trying to 3D print the helmet from Metro 2033. is the Spartan helmet. Uh, it's actually used by more than just the Spartans in the game. Uh, it's a common helmet. It's very cool. And I've always wanted one. And recently, uh, I've gone off to college. And we have a Fab Lab with a 3D printer in there, so I'm going to be editing this thing, seeing what I can do with it, and try and make a real one that even will lift up and move. So first things first is I need to make sure this thing is scaled to fit my head. So do that. I'm going to have to go here. We're just going to do metric. So what's the dimensions? So it is 3.1 by 3.8 by 4 meters. That is a bit big to be able to 3D print. So we're going to have to change something about that. Uh, we'll put it there for now. It's probably going to be a little bit more realistic in terms of size. I'm actually going to have to cut this thing up and print it in parts because of the fact uh, the 3D printer can only print like... I think the max is 6x6x6. Six by six by six. Or I could print it all in one go on the really big machine, except that thing uses ABS plastic, which is really flippin' expensive. As opposed to a roll of PVA, I think it is. It's either PVA or PLC. Not not PLC. PLC is a Marine Corps course. Uh, it's P PVA, I believe. But the plastic, either way, the plastic that the small printer uses is a whole lot cheaper. This whole thing would probably cost me like 20 bucks to make if I buy my own filament for the printer. Let's get this thing scaled. I've already measured my face. In order to get inside and see what the damage is. How big we're going to have to make it. We have to move the face mask out of the way. Select all those little things. And let's move it like this. Get out of there. Okay. So why are you moving around that? You should be moving around this piece. There we go. Yeah, still not very good at Blender. Not my forte. Oh, no, did not mean to do that. Son of a gun. Get in there. So we need to figure out the scale is on my computer. I need to figure out what exactly the in current inner dimensions of the helmet is. We need to scale it from now we're upside down. What are you doing? So based on the picture that I have of him, this is actually R2 him without the helmet on, I measured my face right about here, right where the this part on the helmet is. So over here where my mouse is, we have to figure out what that is because it only gives the diameter from the outside on the x-axis over here. Doesn't give it what the inside is, I think. Well, the Z axis is now going to include the face mask, so we're just going to have to look at the X axis. So I'm going to need to measure that. Okay, so we're just going to say it's 52 centimeters on the inside. So now we have our inner diameter measurement. So according to my math, we need to scale uh, whatever we want the inside diameter to be, we have to scale it to the outside. So I want the inside diameter to be I think it's 150 millimeters. Is that how I measured my head to be? I have the calipers here that I used. Yep, 151 millimeters is my skull size. So whatever we want that inner part to be, 
and I want to add centimeter on each side so I can put in some foam padding so I can wear it or should I use a helmet mount from one of my old helmets hmm so I have one of the little ABS airsoft helmets from my short movie Redshift I'm looking at the helmet mount I think maybe if I just make this thing a little bit bigger uh, leave some extra room Let's see how this thing fits on my head Okay, so after looking at that for a while, I think I'm going to need to add a centimeter to each side of my head for the internal measurement. That brings the total up to 100 and 71 millimeters for the inside of the this helmet that I'm making. And in order to get the outer diameter, which is what I'm going to need to plug into this thing to scale it up to correctly, to multiply that by 1.5134, we should get. So that means the outer diameter of the helmet is going to be 2. Hundred and the two hundred fifty-eight point eight millimeters for the outer diameter. So that means we need to change this dimension on here to two hundred and fifty-eight point eight. millimeters <laughs> well and then we're also gonna have to change so that's looking pretty good now here comes the real pain in the ass part where I have to chop it up because our printer can't handle something that's this big great this was going to be the part of the video where I had a really cool time lapse sequence for you guys. However, Adobe Premiere Pro does not want to work with the longer hypercam files. Instead, just imagine that my mouse is moving about the screen wildly and there's some upbeat music playing. You got that? Good. Okay, on to the next part of the video. So there we go, after a few hours of on and off work, I finally have my model all split up, filled in, and now I just need to take them and put them into their own individual files so I can load them and 3D print them. Okay, now I finally have all of the files taken right here, split up, all the things there. Uh, and then the two visors right here as well. There are the files for that. So, I just need to get those things imported into my online Google Drive, and then I can print them out at school. I'll make a video of that. So stick around for part two. This was part one of this. Now it's off to uh, edit this and get it on YouTube. Stay real, guys. See you later.